In Japan, they've been making whiskey since the 1920s, ever since some Japanese scientists went over to Scotland to see how they're making scotch. One of my favorite ways to enjoy the flavors of Japanese whiskey is through the Japanese highball, which is more than just a whiskey soda. Today we're going to use a tasty single malt from Nika, one of the two major Japanese whiskey houses alongside Suntory. This highball technique is really going to bring forward some of the fruity and floral notes of the whiskey. There's a lot of ritual around Japanese cuisine, and drinking your whiskey highball is no exception. So here we're going to try the Mizuari technique, which translates to cut with water. We're going to start by adding some ice to this Collins glass and stir with a bar spoon until the glass is chilled. Do this for about 20 to 30 seconds, and then we're going to discard the excess water. With our glass now chilled, the next step is to add our whiskey. We're going to add 1.5 ounces or 45 mils directly into the Collins glass. Okay, now here's where this ritual gets very specific. It calls for us now stirring this cocktail 13 and a half times clockwise. What happens if we go counterclockwise? I don't know, it might open up a portal to another dimension. I don't want to risk it. So after executing the first part of the ritual by chilling and diluting the whiskey, we are now going to cut with water by adding 3 ounces or 90 mils of soda water. I'm a big fan of Fever Tree brand here just because of the high level of carbonation, but go with a brand that you like. To mix these together, the next step requires that we stir three and a half times clockwise. Now here's where I'm going to slightly deviate from the ritual and finish this with a lemon twist. Expressing the oils over the top really makes this a more refreshing drink, but it's up to you. And that's the Japanese Whiskey Highball, a great way to enjoy your whiskey and practice your counting skills. Cheers. Oh, and if you've been checking out that clear ice stick I used in this video, um, head over to my clear ice tutorial to teach you how to make it. Practically disappears in the cocktail.